Things nobody told you about owning a greyhound. A breed that needs no introduction, except that it's the fastest dog known to man, is popularly known as the greyhound. This is Dr. Alex, hello, and welcome to this video where we'll have the honor to cover everything about the legendary greyhound. We'll talk about their character and their exercise requirements. You'll be amazed about their legacy and we'll make sure to cover some of the more unheard of facts while we're at it. So if you think you might just be one of those special greyhound people, and even if you're not sure, do give this video your time because who knows, you might come out at the end of it with a different choice. These dogs are sensitive, patient, and gentle. That might surprise you, but the truth is, as ferocious and speedy as a greyhound can look when they're in full flight, they can be a real couch potato when they're in your home. The reality is your greyhound will love to spend most of the time just lazing around the house with you. Greyhounds can be loving family pets and form close bonds with their owners, but they do need to be carefully socialized with other small pets like cats due to their strong instinct to chase. Once the chase instinct has kicked in, it can be very hard to get the attention of a greyhound, which is common for all sight hounds and needs careful consideration about where you let these dogs off the lead. Unlike other dogs, greyhounds use their eyes more than their nose, hence the name sight hound. This may not at first appear to be significant, but it means they are generally calm and relaxed when not much is happening around them. But when something catches their eye, they have the urge to spring into action. This makes greyhounds super laid back until it's time to run. Thanks to a custom made body of an extreme athlete, greyhounds are exceptional when it comes to training to run. They're loyal and they're keen to please. Now, traditionally, greyhounds have been trained for high energy, short duration tasks. So keep any training session short and positive so you don't lose their attention. Look for ways you can incorporate his love of running into the training. Pay attention to the things that your dog loves, which for a greyhound may be a toy rather than a food treat. Use this as a reward when your dog does the right thing to encourage him to keep doing that behavior. And of course, give lots of praise. Due to their long lean bodies, greyhounds struggle to sit. So sometimes teaching them to stay or lie down as a command may be more effective and more comfortable for your dog. So how about nutrition? Greyhounds, like all dogs, benefit most from a healthy and well-balanced diet. You should always feed your dog the best quality food you can. If in doubt about what you should buy, your vet can recommend a good quality kibble. Greyhounds like treats as much as other dogs, but they can be picky eaters when it comes to meal times. An adult greyhound should be fed three to four cups of dry food every day. This can be split up into two meals. Puppies can be fed on one to one and a half cups of dry food across three meals. The greyhound is designed to look lean, so don't worry if you can see some of their ribs and a slim waist. This is completely normal. If you're unsure about the right food and how much to feed your greyhound, your vet will be able to guide you with advice that will be designed specifically for your dog. When it comes to a long and prestigious history in dogs, greyhounds are untouchable. The oldest record of a greyhound is from 8,000 years back in time, from Cleopatra to the Bible to the pyramids of Giza. Greyhounds are everywhere through history. They were so valuable even back then that killing a greyhound was thought to be same as killing a human. In the Middle Ages, when the human population was struggling to survive famines, it was made sure that greyhounds were pampered and fed well. So high was the royalty of greyhounds. But this was more than just a luxury. The speed that greyhounds could reach was very valuable on the hunting grounds. One greyhound could ensure food for a whole family for as long as the dog survived. And when food was scarce, this made greyhounds a priceless possession. But what about for the modern day greyhound? What are their exercise requirements? While greyhounds are remarkable sprinters and can reach a top of 73 kilometers per hour 
in just three strides. In terms of regular exercises, greyhounds need no more than one hour of exercise each day. And if you're walking outside in the winter, it's a good idea to have a coat on them to keep them warm. They prefer doing short shaft bursts of exercise rather than running for long periods of time. So if you want a companion for your daily 10 kilometer run, this is probably not the dog for you. On the other hand, games like fetch and chase, that might just hit the right spot for your greyhound. Grooming is very low maintenance in greyhounds. They have short hair that does shed, but regular brushing usually takes care of it. And it also brings out the shine in their coat. Frequent bathing is not really required and they generally remain clean and don't have that characteristic doggy smell. One of the main health issues that greyhounds experience is dental disease, where bacteria builds up and infects the gums. This means teeth cleaning is very important for the dog and regular descaling to remove tartar buildup will be required and can be performed by your vet. Their deep chested conformation can also make them prone to bloat and a twisted stomach, which is a medical emergency. To help prevent this happening, avoid exercising your dog immediately before and after meals. Panis is a disorder that affects the eyes of greyhounds and some other breeds and can eventually lead to blindness. It's thought to be a certain genetic inheritance there with certain families and lines within a breed more severely affected. Panis is an autoimmune disease, which means the body actually starts to attack itself. Because there is a genetic predisposition for developing Panis in certain bloodlines, dogs with this condition should not be bred from. Now, imagine you've made your mind up on a greyhound. The next step is to find the right breeder. So it's important to know exactly how to do that. The breeder should be registered, and like those with the Responsible Pet Breeders Australia, the breeder must have an in-depth knowledge of the greyhounds on their premises and be a responsible and ethical breeder. Now, greyhounds do come in a range of colors. They can be black, white, brindle, fawn, red or blue. Their height can be just over 70 centimeters and they usually weigh somewhere between 30 and 39 kilos for males with females slightly smaller, 21 to 30 kilos. As tempting as it might sound to rush in and buy your first dog, make sure you've done your homework first. You can find videos of other dog breeds to ensure that you have all the information you need to make the right decision for you. So until then, be safe and along with your new dog, have the time of your life. If you're still deciding whether a dog is right for you, remember that responsible pet ownership means committing to providing a lifetime of love and care for your pet.